Then you say you're the first transgender person to become a Labour Party women's officer. There's quite a little uh, uh, kerfuffle going on with the Labour Party over the decision of the Labour Party officials to decide that uh, transgender people will have full rights, to, uh, trans, uh, transgender um, women, uh, men who have transgender to be women, they will have full rights to stand, for instance, uh, for women's officer jobs, but also to stand in all women shortlist constituencies. Do you support that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's it's really been Labour policy since the 90s. They just haven't quali- uh, specified it. Haven't clarified it. Yeah. Do you think it's... Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not a fan of all women's shortlists anyway. I think it's rather patronising to have quotas for women uh, as a woman myself. Um, but uh, do you not think that an awful lot of women might be quite uh, unhappy with the idea that, uh, that, that someone who was not a born a woman would have a right to be on an all-women shortlist? Well... I think some will be, but uh, as we see with things like the British Social Attitude Survey, the majority of women are strongly in favour of trans women using women's services and being uh, having access to women's stuff, and the majority are against trans women entirely. But there's, and this is where we get into difficult territory, don't we? Where someone, for instance, suggesting that they didn't think that a uh, 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 someone who identified as a woman uh, should be allowed on all women shortlist. Um, that's not necessarily tr- that's not necessarily fo- transphobia. That's not that's not a hate crime. That's just someone expressing an opinion about what they believe that the, the the nature and identity of gender. And it also relates, doesn't it? Also to, I suppose, but particularly um, how far down the route someone has gone. I think. Um, I think many people would be quite happy with someone who had lived their life for many years. Uh, a man, for instance, had lived life as a woman for many years, had had gone through all the medical procedures and was, you know, biologically in many ways impossible to tell from someone who had been biologically born a woman. But then what about someone who simply says, I'm a man, but I identify as a woman? No surgery, not even perhaps even any or any hormone treatment or anything, but simply identifies as a woman. Well, should that person be allowed, that ma- that someone who would be regarded by most people as a man, would, should that person be allowed to stand on an all-women shortlist? Um, personally, I think yes. So you just simply, if you put a skirt on, you can stand on an all-women shortlist? To all intents and uh, purposes, that's what you're saying, isn't it? I, I'm saying that if someone says to me they're a trans woman, then I'm inclined to believe them. And I won't say, oh, you know, if someone wants to be Sally, that they are any less of a woman than what they're presenting as in front of me. Well, I, I, except woman. they wouldn't be a woman, they'd be a man. If they said they were a woman... Well, no, I mean, I can tell you I'm a table, but it doesn't make me a table, does it? I'm still a woman. Well, there's, there's a difference between someone being born in the incorrect body and someone being a table. No, I, no, I completely, and I completely understand that that that, this, 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 that, that people do uh, do change their genders, and I'm very supportive of, of of that. But where somebody has changed their gender and is living an entirely their life entirely and goes through surgery as someone of the of, of of the other gender, then I think people are far more accepting. But if someone simply says, "I now identify," if I said to you now, "I now identify as a man," that doesn't make me a man. I'm still a woman because words have meanings, don't they? Uh. If you said that you're a man and you believed it, then I would believe that. OK, so if I tell you I'm a black man, you'd, you'd accept that and believe that. And then I should uh, I, I, I should then be treated uh, as someone who suffered from terrible you know, racism and uh, uh, throughout my life. I mean, that's meaningless, isn't it? Um, well, no, because there, there's, it gets into more complicated biology. But oh, well, no, 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 hold on a minute. If I can, if you can believe that I'm a man, if I say I'm a man, I simply by stating it, then I can just tell you I'm black as well, can't I? Uh, and you have to believe that I'm black. You can look at me and know I'm white, but you have to believe I'm black because if I believe I'm black, then I must be. Is that right? Is that what the logic is of this argument? No, not at all. I, you can't just say you're black. I can't just say I'm black, but white. I can just say I'm a man. And a man could just say he's a woman and get onto an all-women shortlist. Well, gender is internal. It isn't an external presentation thing necessarily in most cases it is but it is well in 999999 percent of cases it is for most people that's the issue isn't it could we, could we could have a scenario, Lily, where um and I, I look I do I think this will happen no but we could have a scenario where we have a five transgender men five men biologically born men saying they identify as women standing on an all women shortlist for the Labour Party to get a constituency nomination and would you be happy with that if they genuinely believe they were women 
So that they would be trans women, and yes, I'd be very happy with that. Okay.